Hey guys, back again. This time we're going to have a look inside an IEC uh, mains filter, a mains noise filter. This one's a Schaefer brand, a FN261S-6-06-10. It's just a standard uh, IEC connector there. Yeah, you see those in the back of your computer. Um, this one's got the... Uh, oh, there we go. Focus. This one's got the uh, noise filter built in, so any noise that's coming in from the mains won't get through to your uh, your appliance and anything that your appliance makes, any noise theoretically won't come back out again um, can help with sort of things like if you've got a noisy machine, you know, motors or uh, high frequency stuff on this side or if you've got a noisy mains um, it'll stop stuff coming through, it's good for um, if you build an amplifier or something that's sensitive anyway so we'll open this thing up and See what go is going on inside. All right, so I've managed to pry the thing open, and we'll pull the cover off. All nicely insulated, so that nothing can uh, short out to the can. Even if something was to go bang inside, it's all encased in this plastic. This here is the earth, so you want that. Um, to make, be making contact, so the the case is all earth. It pushes into a hole in the case. I've got I actually got two of them here, so I'll show you this one. So this is just a push fit. There is another version uh, where it has the tab, so you can put screws in. Uh, but this one's just yeah, push it in and spring tabs will hold it in place. I actually got these from Ikea Bara, <laughs> 324 yen each. Not too bad. I might go back and get some more actually. So anyway, let's have a look inside. We'll take the case off, and what do we got? We've got a cover here. That's all she wrote. Not much going on, but we'll go through and uh, we'll explain how it all works. So basically, you got your active here, earth and neutral. So your, your voltage comes in on this pin, and then we've got a, uh, a fuse holder. If we take that out. The fuse sits in here, and you can see at the back there, that's where the, uh, the voltage comes through. It's connected onto uh, inside there, just near where my finger is. Just you can see it. So that's a nice feature where if you pull this out, um, you can't get your finger in to touch the uh, the live terminal because the one that you can reach is the load side. So that's never going to be live without a connection through to the back. Another feature I noticed is this here. You see this tab just there. What happens is when that plugs in, and then you plug your IC plug in, this can't come out unless the plug, the IEC plug comes out, because it's being held in by that by that tab there. So that's that's pretty good. The, the fuse can't vibrate loose. You, you may have already noticed as well that there's two spots for the fuses. That's good for if you do uh, your electronics like me and you like blowing fuses a lot. You can have a spare fuse along with the one that's being used. Alright, so put that down there. Okay, now on the back, we'll move it over here. And you can see we've got this terminal and this terminal. This side is a neutral, that's connected straight through to this pin. And then this side is the active, which obviously connects through to the fuse here. First up in the signal path, or in the, uh, the voltage path, we've got this white thing in here, that's an X2 class capacitor, which actually says it on here. We've got a nice schematic. X2 0.1 microfarad. And then we've got a 1 mega ohm resistor. That's, this one here is a capacitor, and there's your resistor. That 1 mega ohm is just a bleed resistor, so it, it just bleeds away any built up charge on that capacitor when you unplug the uh, appliance so that you can't get a, a tingle from your pins in here. But that X2 capacitor is a special rating. You've got X class and Y class. The blue ones here are Y class. We'll talk about those in a sec. But the X class, it's rated to go across the mains where if there's a fault, it won't cause a an unsafe condition. So this one, this capacitor here, this one can fault short circuit because if it does, it's not going to cause an unsafe condition. It's just going to blow your fuse. What this one does is this basically shorts out any 
any high frequency noise because as a, as a capacitor what they do is they they block DC but they allow high frequency AC and depending on your size of your capacitor that will determine what frequency it blocks and what frequencies it allows through so that one there will just basically short across active and neutral any any noise coming through this capacitor you'll see this on many appliances this other stuff, not so often, but very often you'll see just the X2 class capacitor there. Okay, as we move on from there, we've got a common mode choke. So this this green thing with the, the coils either side, what that is, that's actually made of powdered iron um, with some epoxy resin that's compressed into the, into the toroid shape. This is the same stuff, if you ever look at your, your video leads, you know, your VGA or your HDMI or some USB cables or whatever, and there's a, there's a blob on the cable, inside that blob is the same stuff. That stops in that application on where it's wrapped around the cable, that stuff stops uh, RF interference, radio frequency interference. This one is doing a similar job but slightly different where we've got two coils which are identical. So if there's what's called common mode interference it'll cancel it out so basically if you have your active and neutral you imagine you got your two wires like this and there's a, a blip that comes on the line and on the same line you get the same blip as it as those two blips come through these coils they cancel each other out and on the other side you've got a nice clean signal a nice clean sine wave sorry so that one there is getting rid of our common mode interference. Okay, so the next step, you can see the two blue capacitors in there. They're Y-class capacitors. They're more like the windshield on your car, you could think. They're designed not to fail, but when they do, they fail safely. The X-class capacitor is designed to take you know, a beating across the mains. These ones aren't connected across the mains. They're connected from you're active to earth and you're neutral to earth. So the X class, if it fails, it'll blow a fuse because it may fail short circuit. These ones will never, sh uh, or should never fail short circuit because if they do, they're going to put voltage down to the earth. So what they do is, if they fail, they're designed to fail open circuit. But basically, what they do, they do the same job as this first capacitor, except they're shunting any f high frequency noise down to earth. So then it goes through your earth pin and just straight down to into the ground through your building uh, building earth. And after those you come and straight out the pins into your appliance. So this this system, the uh, this filter will actually work in both directions. So any noise coming from your appliance won't make it out. Any noise from the outside won't make it in. So that's pretty much all it is couple of capacitors, a choke and a bleed resistor. Pretty simple but these things can really help out if you've got a noisy appliance. They're also good to use for your own projects. That's why I've bought them. I like to use them just so anything I build can't be pumping interference out through the mains into you know, other appliances around the place and cause problems. You can pick them up pretty cheap so ah, I just throw them in every time I need to make a mains powered uh, project. See you next time.